sweet friends. Today we're going to be making a collagraph rubbing. A collagraph is some sort of hard surface that has different kinds of items or pieces of cardboard or materials laid on top of the surface and attached so it kind of makes its own stamp and then you can create a rubbing or a print or something else from that actual collagraph. So we're going to keep it pretty simple today and work with a piece of leftover thin cardboard like maybe a recycled cereal box or something else you might have laying around. You'll need a piece of paper, scissors, glue, maybe some sort of crayons to be able to make your collagraph and then we're going to do just a rubbing of it instead of having to do a print because that requires a lot more complex sort of materials. So let's start. Hey Buzz. <laughs> let's start by doing our mantra to be ready for art today. Here we go. My mantra, I am positive, I am creative, I am mindful, I am amazing, I am an artist. All right, artists, get your materials ready and let's get started. Let's start by cutting out the background of our collagraph. So for that, you're just gonna find which kind of shape you'd like for the actual main base of your collagraph. I'm gonna keep mine kind of like a smallish rectangle. And then you're going to use the same um, material, so in this case, this leftover cereal box that I have. And I'm gonna cut out different kinds of shapes to either create some sort of abstract shape-based creation or something of my own design. So I think I might do a flower today or something kind of spring-like a little bit, but you can create any type of design. Remember, try not to add your layers too tall, but stick to one or two layers and attach your shapes that you cut to the surface with a little bit of glue. Then once that piece is dried and your whole collar is designed and ready to go, then I'll show you how you can do a crayon rubbing of it at the very end. created your collagraph, you should have a little bit of relief on it, meaning some things are sticking up a little bit higher than others. And you want to make sure that your collagraph is pretty dry because if you put a piece of paper over the top and do a rubbing and things aren't quite dry, it might slide those items. So I'm going to leave it to dry for a little while too, but when I'm ready to do my rubbing, remember the cool thing about making a collagraph is then you can use that collagraph to actually rub many different kinds of pieces of art. So perhaps you can design a card or something that you want to make multiples of, and you can use this stamp to make many, many crayon rubbings. Sometimes people even use a little roller and they'll roll some ink or some paint onto the same collagraph and then stamp it onto a paper too. So there's so many uses for these little designs. You can even paint or color right on this cardboard creation and have that be your completed piece of art. The possibilities are endless. So I'm just going to lay my paper over the top and I'm going to start by rubbing with either an uncovered, um, meaning no paper on the crayon, or in this case I'm using art sticks which are very similar. Then I'm going to hold that kind of sideways and press a little bit so that I can find those beautiful edges of the collagraph that I made. Then twisting and turning my um, crayon or my art stick to the side to pick up those designs that I made. So let's get the rest of it all kind of discovered as I do my crayon rubbing. All right, friends, I added a few other little details where I kind of outlined some of my flowers because I thought that it needed a little bit more contrast. But the magic of collagraphs is that you can make as many as you want from this single print or this little stamp and then add different details to it. So it's a great way for you to experiment with being able to go back and always make another crayon rubbing. So it's kind of a fun way to make multiples. Now, we are of course going to end with a little meditation so that we can be super strong and ready for the rest of our day. So today we're just gonna do three deep breaths and really focusing on making sure our belly gets big like a big blowfish or a puffer fish and then releasing all of that air. So three big breaths, here we go. it you should be strong and ready for the rest of your day remember you are amazing you are strong you are resilient and i love you we will see you next time